So today, something similar to last time, but fishing with Sammy Walker and Zay McCurdy. We're gonna head out today, out of Queenslift. We're gonna be chasing some whiting and some squid. I haven't decided what first yet. I'll have a look at that as I head out. We'll see how many boats are on the squid, but the whiting's gonna be up first, I reckon, because a bit of boat traffic around, and then possibly the squid after that. Some big squid we're getting, and some really nice whiting too, so stay tuned. I hope we get a few fish. So we've rocked up and we've started fishing straight away. Zano cut some baits up while I got the rigs ready and straight in some really nice fish. They're good sized fish. And like I said, we've only been here a few minutes, not too long, but we got them going reasonably well without the burly so far. Our baits, we started to get ready until the fish started biting. I don't think Sam's actually caught one yet, but me and Zano have, so. You got Zano? Come on the burly. Very bite you off. Oh, should be a nice fish. There's not a pike like you just caught. <laughs> nice white thing. Nice size fish. You can see how much we're sitting on the sand holes here. Light, real light in colour. There's not a heap of weed. They're sitting right on the edge here. It's crucial to get your anchor on those, those points there. They're really light fish. That there's going to make just getting a bite. We've got them going really well here. And they're really nice fish. You see there's no boats around. It's a fair crowd on the same one as here. It's a drone thing. I am nowhere near anyone. That is another really nice size. Yeah. So Zane has just swapped right. You've got one. Zane swapped no. rods with Sam because he reckons it was a rod. <laughs> He's actually swapped sides and Zane's got one first cast with it. I mean, you've got your. Is that your first one or second? It's like my second, maybe. Just, uh, maybe. Yeah. We'll go second. And Zane's got one there too. Coming in thick and they're cracking fish. So, dropping down near the burly bottom of the tree and the tastiest fish in the sea, in my opinion, this time of the year. And they taste 50 times better than whiting, and that's hard to hard to uh, compete with. You know, there's a blue spot flooded, and it's my dinner, and the boys can have the whiting. Sam Walker's lifted his game. Oh, I'm caught you. Oh, yeah, I better say, oh, you haven't caught me, I'll fix that. Oh, I got one too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the tangle. Sam's first fish of the day. Walker's first fish. Consistency. So a little tip to save you a bit of money is, I like to freeze bottles as well. Works an absolute treat. We've got plenty of stuff on the Salt Guide website how we look after our fish. Not just catch them, it's really important. So hit the link here if you do want to check out how we look after fish and how we cook them the lot. But basically, this here goes in here with a few other bottles. Heat's better than ice because you don't have fresh water sitting on your fish, which I don't like. So you pop it in, the decos goes on. That'll fill up. Fish on ice. Well, that's our 60 whiting. We're all in the mad fish bag up the front there, keep them cool. We're gonna head up to the squid grounds now. Hopefully there's not too many boats on them. As soon as they get hammered real quick and they disappear, they just don't like it. So we're gonna push up there and hopefully find a patch ourselves. Fingers crossed we do it right. But that was a real good session, the whiting. As quick as you can get them, we caught them. And hopefully now we can go get some good squid and uh, big ones. Down too, which would be good. Zane's got one too. There's a nice calamari. Hopefully, we can get a nice quick bag here. Just 
early dinner time and the girls are waiting on us to eat. Nice one, Zona. Zona's onto another. That's a good one. Walker's catching all the real big ones. <laughs> so a nice sweet. Oh. <laughs> Not bad. I hope you drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Not yes. bad, though. Big small one. Oh, yeah. Sammy's got one. Taking the rod. No, just lean on the thing, grab the line. Yep. <laughs> What'd you get, Sam? Oh, yeah, you're trying to hide that, are you? <laughs> it's a nice squeeze, isn't it? Yeah. So we got them going, well, we, they're going really well. There's plenty of squid here. Sam's got another one. A good one, Sam? He's not too bad. So they're all good squid. We're on the eggs here. We spoke about it. It's all on Salt Guide, how to find them, how we do it. So check it out in the reports each week. Hit the link below. Oh, your game, his game. <laughs> Real game. He's copped a bit of ink to the face today, too. Yeah, I'll learning. grab that for you. There you go, take your jig out. And if you open up that lid, oh. uh, you make a mess. Thanks. Well, that's getting full. I'm gonna catch another one because I've been doing the camera work. <laughs> this is a good one, this one. This is a real good one. It's about time they let me wind them in. I've been on the camera the whole time. This is a nice one for the size of this thing. Huge, but it's still a really nice squid. Oh, boys. It's amazing how they change colours so quick. Put it in a beard, it'll go red. <laughs> Pop him in there, I'm gonna get another one. Well, how good's that? Poplar Bay, some of the best eating species we've got today. We've got some awesome sight, big flatties, awesome calamari as well. Whiting, and check out the size of these guys. Some of these are really good. Plenty of them, we've got 30 in our bag. It's been a pretty quick time, as you can see, we've already been here for about 30 minutes. It took us a bit to find them, but we got them in the end because we stayed away from the boats like I spoke about. And you can see there's no one around us and there's heaps of boats fishing where all, I don't, I'm not sure why they're there because they're not actually catching any. They can start to move around. That's what Salt Guide does. It spreads you out into your areas so you can catch yourself some fish. It teaches you everything we do. So make sure you check out the website, saltguide.com.au. Get yourself a membership and catch yourself some more fish. We'll see you on the water.